be a good day. Even if I make it myself, it's gonna be a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too. Good morning, I'm Trish Pahanik, and this is Synopsis, your first early morning briefing. It's Monday, the very last day of March, the 31st, 2008, and here is today's top story. Late on Friday, the court battle between IAC, Interactive Corp., and Liberty Media reached a verdict two weeks after the five-day trial concluded in Wilmington, Delaware. Judge Stephen Lamb of the Delaware Chancery Court ruled in favor of IAC's chairman, Barry Diller, and his plan to spin off IAC into five separate. Liberty, with 29% economic interest and 62% voting control of IAC, was initially keen on the spin-off idea, but later opposed the single-tier structure plan proposed by Diller, saying it would split Liberty's control and that it went against their proxy agreement with Diller. The court determined on Friday that the single-tier plan was not in violation of the proxy agreement and further said IAC does not need Liberty's permission to finalize the spin-off. We have more coming up next, and remember, if you had a promo or a commercial in this video, we'd all be watching your stuff right now. Coming up next today under More Good Stuff, Sundance Channel premieres Big Girl's Blouse, NBC debuts Fair Itself, Girls Just Want to Have Fun, and ABC nabs Captain Cook's Extraordinary Atlas. Sundance Channel premieres the U.S. television premiere of Big Girl's Blouse, the six-episode 30-minute sketch comedy series from Australia on May 10th at 9 p.m. Originally airing in 1994, the series features Australian comedians Magda uh, Zubansky, Jane Turner, and Gina Riley before their hit series Kath and Kim, which also aired recently on the Sundance Channel. NBC will debut the anthology series Fear Itself on May 29th at 10 p.m. It's produced by Lionsgate. The show will also debut on the Fairnet website and video on demand on September 1st on Labor Day with a new episode available for viewing each week. The episodes will also contain extra footage including chats with directors and scenes not shown on the NBC series. Well, girls just want to have fun, so says Fine Living Network's new series, All Girl Getaways, premiering April 24th at 9 p.m. Host and travel expert Stephanie Oswald offers ideas and tips for gals to plan many trips away from home, husbands, kids, and work. The series will air in its regular time slot of Wednesdays at 9 p.m. Last year at Synopsis, we launched Synopsis Digital. The year before, the Synopsis Daily Video. The year before that, Synopsis Audio Podcast. And the year before that, that Synopsis International. It seems it has become something of a trend for us to launch something new each and every year. And why should this year be any different? Well, announcing Synopsis Media Top Tier, our newest executive search division. An extensive of our well-known classified section, Top Tier will use our extensive reach to help locate and screen the best person for the executive job you're looking to fill. Whether you're looking for a new hire or a change of scenery for yourself, let us know we can help. Okay, moving along to other news today under production and development. ABC NAB, the drama pilot Captain Cook's Extraordinary Atlas by Tom Wheeler and produced by Warner Brothers TV. The fantasy story is about a young girl who discovers a magical atlas that shows an alternative world underneath our world. When the mole from Stone & Company returns to ABC, it won't have either Anderson Cooper or Ahmad Rashad in the lead. It returns with a new host, John Kelly, former weekend anchor for the syndicated series Extra. The mole kicks off on ABC this spring, reports Variety. Planet Green has ordered up ten episodes of Battleground Earth, produced by The Grief Company, a reality competition series, and featuring Chris Ludacris Bridges and Tommy Lee, reports Variety. The two will travel across the country, compete in a slew of tasks, and all the while highlight environmental issues. At the end, the two will finish in L.A. at the Greek Theater, where they will hold a concert to benefit Griffith Park. Battleground Earth is expected to launch this summer. 
And on that note, that's a wrap for today. Be sure to check your email for the full printed version of today's synopsis with new executive moves and more on ratings, plenty of new classified ads, and a few other stories that did not make it into this podcast, and of course tonight's primetime broadcast lineup. The music in synopsis was composed and performed by David Stango. This podcast is a synopsis media production in association with 311 West. For Cynthia Turner, who wrote and compiled synopsis in Connecticut, I'm Trish Mahonic. I'm gonna have a good day, even if I make it myself. I'm gonna have a good day. I don't need no one else. I'm gonna have a good day. Nothing wrong I could do. I'm gonna have a good day. Hope you have a good day too.